Hi, I'm Charlotte, and this is Chatting with Charlotte, where I share conversations, life hacks, and inspirations to help you on your healing journey from childhood trauma. So Monday, I shared the first episode of a three-part series entitled First Steps to Recovery. And today is episode two, and the title of today's video is He Will Restore Me. So Monday, I talked about step one, which was entitled Life Out of Control. And today, I'm going to talk about step two, which reads... We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And the scripture that goes with that is, For it is God who works in you to will and act according to his good purpose. Philippians 2.13 Now for me, the key word in that scripture is the word will. Because I knew God could restore me to sanity but I was not at all sure that he would. You see, as I said before many times, I had a relationship with Jesus from a very, very young age. He was my friend. I talked to him daily. When I would dissociate during abusive episodes, I would go to him and to his arms. But I sometimes wondered why he allowed the abuse to continue. And I also wondered how how he could possibly love me with everything that had happened in my life. And the idea of love was so distorted that what I experienced with Jesus, I couldn't really call it love because it didn't fit the pattern. Because to me, love was power and pain and control. And that's not at all what I felt towards Jesus. But I never stopped believing in God, and he was always a part of my life. I just couldn't comprehend that although he could restore me to sanity and help me stop the behaviors that I was doing, the sexual acting out, I wasn't at all sure that he would because I was such a bad person. And I had no concept of unconditional love. As I said... Love to me was power, control, and pain. And the idea that there was some other kind of love was completely foreign to me. And I had no way to wrap my head around the fact that I did not have to bargain for God's approval. But until I understood and fully embraced the fact that I did not have to bargain, I continued to do that. And I continued to fail. And... Each, each step of my recovery hinged on my being able to accept God's unconditional love and that he would, not only could, but would restore me to sanity and my whole being to sanity, my mind, my body, and my spirit to sanity. Now, Celebrate Recovery gave me a start with that, and it was a safe place to share parts of my story. It was a safe place for me to hear other stories and not feel completely alone. Now, I didn't immediately stop the acting out, and it was it took some time for me to even begin to little bit accept that God would restore me, that he, he would maybe want, to help me and that I did not have to bargain with him for approval. And the idea, I had to embrace the idea of unconditional love, but it was so difficult for me. And the pivotal point for me was when two people who were the singles pastors at the church that I attended in Austin, Sam and Kelly Mata, showed me unconditional love. And they held me accountable. They knew the things that I was doing. They knew the struggles that I was having. They held me up when I slipped. And they loved me through it. And they helped me navigate understanding and embracing unconditional love because they showed it to me. And I eventually began to accept that, in fact, God not only could restore me, but he could, he would, and that he was more than willing to do that. 
And that was pretty life-changing for me to be able to see that. But I was not done because I knew that. But the next step was going to be even harder. And that was surrender. And that's what I'll be talking about on Friday. So join me then. And in the meantime, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Remember that the release day of my book, my memoir, is Friday, so it will be available everywhere. You can get more information about that on my website, charlottethomason.com. And I look forward to talking to you on Friday and uh, finishing up the series. So talk to you then. Bye now.